How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. I'm here with Paul, Senior Product Line Manager at New Balance. Today we are going to be taking a first look, deep dive into the New Balance More V5. Now Paul, the More has been my shoe for a while. Max stack, max comfort. This is the shoe when you're looking to go long miles. And now with V5, we've got a complete upgrade from top to bottom. Can you tell us about the inspiration? I for absolutely shoe? can. Thanks, Connor, <laughs> for having me. This is the brand new Fresh Home X More V5. It was two years ago you and I were here talking about that shoe that you've spent so much time in, countless hours running countless miles in. But we took some additional time to really get this update right. I'm really excited to talk about this brand new version. Well, More V4 is known for its stack. We still have a lot of cushioning underfoot, but is it still the same compound as that last version? No, a little bit different this time. So if you can rem remember on the More V4, we went for this amazing kind of running recovery experience underfoot. But what we found is that the foam and that shoe just felt a little bit squirrely in some cases. But what we knew we had is a brand new Fresh Home X compound that was first found in the Fresh Home X 1080 V13 that just came to market recently. We knew we had something special with that material, so we wanted to bring it to the More V5 for the very first time. What that really means is a little bit lighter weight in the foam chemistry and also just a tick bit harder. But what that's going to do is just create a more secure and stable underfoot experience. Now, from a stack height perspective, are we still looking pretty in line with that last version? Just a little bit higher. And so we're about two millimeters higher than where we were on the previous one. But that's only what we call the center line or really just that midsole material. And what that's doing is bringing a little bit of additional comfort. But what's really important for us, too, is that we're providing a safe and secure platform. And we can do that in the geometries of the shoe as much as we can do in the heights of the shoe. What that just means for us is that in the case of the More V5 is that we have some really nice high sidewalls, both laterally and medially, to just really nicely cup the foot and provide a safe and secure running and walking experience. Now, I always thought the More V4 was one of the smoothest feeling shoes. Are we still looking at a very similar geometry? Yeah, absolutely. I love that word smooth. It's something we talk about so often with the Fresh Home X platform, whether we're talking about 1080s, New Balos, or 880s within our range. But smooth is key when it comes to Fresh Home X. In the 1080 version 13, we brought a brand new idea of kind of a bottoms up design mentality, and it was all to deliver the smoothest transition underfoot. We took those ideas and not only applied them to all the other Fresh Home X shoes, but we brought them to the More V5 as well. And so what you see here is a very vertical or almost north to south outsole design that's working really harmoniously with the rocker profile and the underfoot setup. So you get a really smooth transition from heel, midfoot, and at toe off. Now, from an outsole layout, looks like we still have a little bit of rubber and a good amount of exposed uh, midsole. Can you tell us a little bit more about that outsole configuration? Yeah, absolutely. It's really important that we're able to reduce weight in the outsole as it's one of the biggest offenders to adding weight to product in a lot of cases. But what is really key though is durability and safety and security in the underfoot experience as well. So there's a couple key things that we really wanted to focus on. One is that we wanted to have a horseshoe in the heel of the shoe to really prevent any sort of rocking back feeling you might have in a max comfort shoe, but also then having the vertical outsole design to really promote toe off and a little bit of additional forefoot stiffness for an amazing rocker profile feel. But then to help reduce some of the weight in the outsole, we've created these really nice shapes to start carving away at almost hexagonal looks in the outsole that really mirror the sidewall and the midsole design uh, ethos. And when you go up this high, obviously net bases are important. Are we still pretty similar width to that last version? Just a tick bit wider. And what's really important about that for us is that we're creating a more unique experience across our range, whether it's 880s and 1080s. And widths, as you mentioned, or nets is one way to be able to do that. What's unique about the Fresh Home X More V5 is that we're a little bit wider in the heel, a little bit wider in the midfoot, and slightly wider in the forefoot, just to stabilize the platform for those that are running in this shoe for long runs or recovery runs, spending time wearing this all day, or walking around in a shoe that is just screaming comfort, both visually and underfoot. Yeah, and really wrapping out that comfort story, we gotta talk about the upper. What's new in that? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to talk about this upper. Like, I'm gonna get really nerdy runner here a little bit, and so I apologize when it comes to talking about this upper, but we have cleaned up so many amazing things about the fit environment of this shoe. And for me, it really starts with the tongue and the mesh package that we've used here. What's really key for us is that we create some really nice comfort that's breathable, but structured. So the foot sits really nice and secure, but it's really being paired with not only a gusset in the tongue to help keep the tongue laying nice and flat across the instep of the foot, 
but we had attached it to what we call a hung liner or a liner that actually works all the way through the vamp of the foot just to create a more secure fit that has amazing volume, but it's not gonna feel sloppy underfoot. And not only that, the tongue's gonna stay nice and put so that it's not moving around and sloshing all over the place. Yeah, I mean, look, the Moore V4 has been my favorite and I think it's still remain a top contender as that highly cushioned plus shoe for just racking up the miles. For people looking to get this shoe on their feet, when can they have it? August 2024, really excited. Like I said, we took a little bit of additional time to get this absolutely right. More V4 was such a leap forward for our brand in this max comfort space. I think we really nailed it here. The visual is unbelievable, but get this shoe on your foot come August in 2024. If you're looking to get the next generation of highly cushioned comfort, you can find the New Balance More V5 here at Running Warehouse.